Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Muna Project. We are at the Muna Project. We are continuing our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, uh, guidance, advice, and I'm continuing in my series of brief introductions to some of the great sages and luminaries and, and Torah giants um, uh, within our history. And um, someone, that not only I, but everyone uh, quotes and refers to is um, the Chofetz Chaim. Uh, this is Rabbi uh, Israel Meir Kagan. Um, he, he lived from uh, 1839 to 1933. Thank God that the Chofetz Chaim did not live to see the rise of the Nazi party and the destruction of Eastern European uh, Jewry. I'm glad he did not live through that. Um, why is he called the Chofetz Chaim? Uh, he wrote a book, and he called it Chofetz Chaim. Um, Chofetz Chaim is, uh, desires life. It was dealing with the laws of Lashon Hara, uh, wicked speech, evil tongue, malicious gossip. So ever since that, that book, they referred to him by the title of the book, the Chofetz Chaim. And um, he became famous for his extreme uh, piety, his humility, his scholarship, and um, he was the author of many works, and probably um, the most known, the most sought after, the most referred to is his Mishnah Barora. This is his commentary, uh, six-volume commentary on the Orach Chaim. This is uh, uh, the um, section uh, of the, uh, the um, Shulchan Aruch, the, the, the Code of Jewish Laws. And uh, he wrote many other um, Many other books, Shmir Salashim, which is, you know, guarding your tongue, Lashon uh, Hara, Ahavis Chesed, loving uh, kindness, Torah uh, Salbayas, Ahavis Yisroel, Menach Yisroel, uh, many, 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 many books. But um, his book, Chofetz Chaim, on Lashon Hara, and his Mishnah Barora, his commentary in the Shulchan Aruch, outstanding. I mean, uh, every, every home should have. A Mishnah Barur, uh, the Chofetz Chaim's uh, commentary on the uh, on uh, Or Chaim, the uh, the section of the Shulchan Aruch, uh, and he is probably most famous. Well, he's probably most famous as a champion uh, for Shmir Saloshin, guarding your tongue. He was uh, there. There is now the the Chofetz Chaim Foundation, which champions the cause of stopping the epidemic of Lashon Hara, of wicked speech, malicious gossip, which is a disease among us. Um, it is a horrible, horrible affliction that everyone has. The Jews are, are not certainly not immune to it. And he championed this. Um, the famous story, of course, one of the many stories, is someone came to the Chofetz Chaim and said, listen, how do I, how do I stop Lashon Hara? How do I stop? You know, how, how, how do I do it? What, uh, what's the secret? You can't stop. The Chofetz Chaim gets a goose feather, feather pill, uh, pillow, goes to the town square with a guy. He says, rip open the pillow. The guy rips open the pillow. He goes, okay, shake it out. Feathers flying all over the place, all over the market, all over town. The wind's carrying it everywhere. He says, "Okay, what do I do now?" The Rav time says, "Now go and collect every single feather." And the man was dumbfounded. He says, "What?" He says, "Go, go collect all the feathers." He says, "It's impossible. It can't be done." And he says, "That's." And the Rav time said, "That's what lashon hara is. You don't. When you say something." You have no idea how far it's going to travel, or to whom, or who, where it's going to reach. An innocent word, a statement, uh, something that you say, thinking, oh, it's just harmless gossip, I'm just saying, it's nothing big. Things snowball, things travel very far. Let's um, take the words of the Chofetz Chaim uh, to heart, uh, especially with respect to Shmir um, Saloshan, guarding your tongue. And we're going to be doing more introductions um, with respect to the tzaddikim and the gedolim uh, throughout uh, Jewish history. 
please come back, please watch, please learn. And until then, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.